I was promised an Easter Bunny smutty novella, and I got a man bunny. Happy Easter, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So this video really was meant to kind of be like a special fun little holiday video for you guys since it's the day before Easter, right? And Janice and I from Janice's booktube, we were talking and we were thinking like, you know what? We need to get in the Easter spirit. We need to just get in the mood, if you will, right? And we found an Easter bunny smutty novella. All right, that's what we found. It's called Bunny Love by Rebecca Massey. And boy, am I pissed, you guys. All right, I read it and so did Janice. I will leave her channel down below along with her video link. I'm sure she's just as pissed as I am. But we read it thinking, yeah, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna discuss this with you. Holiday, right? It's the Easter Bunny. What the heck? There's no eggs. I was promised an Easter Bunny smutty novella and I got a man bunny. This is just romanticizing Thumper from Bambi. That's what the heck this was. And this was touted as an Easter Bunny. And that is not what he was. And I'm very upset about it. So getting into it. Okay. As far as it goes, as far as the story, it's the whole carnival of curiosity. Like my little Spider-Man dude was, which I loved him. I loved Bishop because he was just disturbing in so many ways. That's what I expected this to be, okay? I didn't know if it was gonna be like a cute, sweet Easter bunny from the mall, or if it was gonna be some creepy, like 1950s Easter bunny where it's just like haunting your nightmares, you know? I didn't know what it was gonna be. It's meant to be a little bit more of a creepy one, but really like, he's just a man bunny. He dresses like the Joker. He has like a purple outfit, pinstripes, blah, blah, blah. He's a dark, like gray, maybe kind of blackish Easter bunny, like all of his fur. And he has a cross hanging down from his floppy ears. And he's got buck teeth, of course. He's a bunny, all right? I can't complain about that. We're, we're starting off good there, okay? And our girl, her name's Bunny, by the way, because of course it is. So she comes to the carnival and she wants to take a picture with the bunny, right? And she asks him if she can use like one of her own props. And she pulls out a carrot dildo because like you do, you just gotta have that on hand when you're someone named Bunny. They take a picture. The bunny man is obviously very curious. and like, oh, you like bunnies, eh? And uh, decides to take her back to his little alfalfa nest in his freaking trailer. And that's where, that's where they get it on, all right? And you know, that's great and dandy and all, but where are the Easter eggs? All right, this was a missed opportunity, you guys. There's no eggs anywhere. There's, there's no Easter egg hunt or hunt of any kind. He's not laying eggs, nor is there in any sort of like pun for Cadbury cream eggs, which I mean, come on, come on. That was such a missed opportunity. That's just like, that's an easy one. Cadbury cream eggs, come on, man. And nothing's like, I was expecting, I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting his um, his spend to be like pastel colored, if you will. And you know, he was gonna like decorate her face with it or something. Nope, I didn't get any of that. But all we got was we got a bunny man who dumps his foot when he's getting off, because he's a bunny and he twitches his little nose and he has buck teeth, but apparently they don't get in the way. That was another thing I had a problem with, okay? He has buck teeth, big old buck teeth, right? So when he's like, you know, tasting her bits, we'll say, how come those don't get in the way? Or how come that isn't some, or like his whiskers, why, are, why aren't his whiskers just like tickling her or something, okay? There were so many opportunities to make this just absolutely you know, and it wasn't, and I'm upset. I laughed a couple times. The carrot dildo thing was one because, and then there, she has another moment where she talks about, you don't scare a lady like that. Girl, you don't bring a carrot dildo to some random stranger you don't know to get your picture taken with the Easter Bunny. You can't call yourself a lady. But that was one thing I laughed at. I laughed at the fact, this was this was pretty great. This, this caught me off guard, I'm not gonna lie. But like, he's this big furry Easter Bunny, right? Okay, and he has all this dark fur. And then, you know, when he undresses and shows his bunny-tastic body, if you will, you get down to his, his junk, all right? And he's super furry. 
And then that's just like a naked mole rat right there. And it's just pink like a dog. And that's, sorry, I know this is, this is, it, this is one of those videos, but it's pink and it's naked and it's just hanging there. Right. And then the best part, the best part is he has two little poof balls, kind of like little bunny tails right underneath that, you know? So that was great. That shocked me. That, that made me laugh. But the rest of it, man, there's no Easter bunny stuff. I'm pissed. I'm so pissed. I don't know if this, like, maybe this is just like my calling. Maybe this is the sign that I need to have that I need to write my own monster smut. You know, I don't know, but I, it's the Easter bunny. Okay. Like where's the Easter? Where's the Easter man? We could have had so much fun with this and I, and I didn't. I'm upset. So yeah, I don't, <laughs> as far as the story goes, like I told you at the beginning, the end of it, and then they get together. Boom, bing, bang, boom. Story's over. That's it. That's it. All right, I told you everything. Now you guys don't need to read it. I was hoping that I could peer pressure you guys into reading this. I really was. Sounds terrible, but I thought we were just gonna have a good time, get ourselves ready for Easter, but I was lied to. So it is what it is. I'm curious how Janice feels about this. So I'm gonna go check out her video. I'm sure she's probably just as pissed as I am. I think we both had the same expectations of, yeah, it's gonna be the Easter Bunny. This is gonna be some wild stuff, man. There's gotta be some Easter innuendos here. But um, there wasn't, so I'm gonna go see what she has to say. But anyways, I'll leave her links down to her channel and her video below. I'll also leave a link to the book if you really wanna check it out. But honestly, like you don't, I gave it two stars. I was upset. I felt, I felt light too, like I mentioned, but anyways, happy Easter. Maybe you go decorate some eggs of your own. Okay. But other than that, I hope you like this. Please leave a thumbs up if you did. If you feel like hanging out more with this depraved individual, then maybe think about subscribing. But otherwise, I'll catch you guys later and you have a great rest of your week. Bye. <laughs>